What's up, guys? So, uh, welcome back to AB Fitness. We're going to do us a little bit of a Mexican night. Low calorie, high protein, street tacos. But in the meantime, while we're going to brew up the street tacos, we're also going to do some little bit of homemade kind of chips and salsa. Uh, low calorie style. Let me show you guys what we're looking at right here. So, we've got... We're going to make our chips out of the Joseph Lavish bread with some olive oil and some seasoning. But, for the street tacos themselves, we're going to end up with our Yamaka... Hickama. Hickama. Some <laughs> hickama wraps, all right? Check this out. 15 calories. Gonna give us a whirl. Everything's on backwards. And then we've got our uh, pulled pork chicken. And we do have some fajita meat from the other day. Gonna throw in there with some bell pepper, cilantro, and everything else. All good to go. Let's brew it up. Let me show you guys how we're gonna do first the chips and then the guacamole salsa that we got. We got it from Trader's Joe. Low calorie. Go try this out. All right, so first thing I'm going to do for the Joseph Lavish bread, I'm going to go ahead and pull two of them out. Remember, each one full bread is 120 calories, 12 grams of protein, so we end up with 240 calories, 24 grams of protein. I'm going to grab us some scissors and just make us some about one and a half inch squares all the way through. All right. Meanwhile, I've got my oven brewing up at 400 degrees. Slap it there. You can also use, I've used this with a much thicker fiber-based flatbread, but always look at your calories, because I'll tell you what, some of the flatbreads and the calories are pretty rough. So let's go ahead and spread this out. Get it all evenly. You do want to get them spaced out. Uh, da -da. So another benefit to having this many is for the fact that uh, taking them to work or throughout the day for uh, snacks, I think uh, they're really good go-tos. Obviously, we're not spreading them all out really perfectly. You're gonna get a little bit of overlap. There we go, cool. Real quick hit for all of them. Makes a little mess, we all right. Season them down. A little bit of onion salt. Well, that's not salt or pepper. You were saying salt and it was pepper. Yeah, dang. <laughs> rough day of working that's out. I was telling you pepper. It's been a rough, I didn't even hear you. <laughs> I don't even listen. All right, here we go. We're just gonna slap that bad boy up in there. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so uh, basically what had happened is I went in there about five minutes to where they start browning, then flip them all over, hit it with a, another spritz of olive oil, a little bit more seasoning, about another five minutes, and then they come out pretty crispy, as you will see. Nice with the chip. Now what we got is the Trader Joe's uh, chunky guacamole. Chunky guacamole. <laughs> and uh, what it's made with is more of the uh, Greek yogurt. It's going to keep the calories down. But uh, let me tell you what. Oh yeah, that's right, right there. Now, while we're cooking our street tacos, we're gonna get in there and do some snacks with that guacamole. We're gonna do us a set of onions. Get our onions brewing up. Bell peppers, all for our street tacos. So we're gonna continue brewing here in just a bit. So with that said, guys, We'll be back and eat a little bit of that chunky guacamole. Also, though, we'll throw up in there at Trader Joe's spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. So each one of these, 30 calories per serving. A lot lower than normal, right? So it's all about trying to find that balance. Low calories, still eating good. That's what we do here at AB Fitness. It is not about starvation. I hear it all too often like, oh, I don't want to get back into that starvation when you go on a diet or what. No, no, no. If you're starving, you're doing it wrong. Hit us up. This is how we're going to show you how to do it. All right, guys. So we're finishing up with the street tacos for the hick with the jicama tacos. Uh, I'll tell you what, just like the traditional street taco, I'm doubling it up. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be the same kind of fried fried. Uh, consistency that we normally get but I'm still gonna go ahead and throw it on a skillet just like we do a couple of corn street taco uh, you really can't burn these bad boys you know it's a lot like a as far as very moisture so this bad boy is not gonna really burn we're just gonna go in and throw it up so with your typical street taco if you put it down here the typical street taco is typically just like a uh, corn tortillas meat and then cilantro now Obviously, we want to add something else for our own, so we want to throw some bell peppers in there, some sauteed bell peppers, onions. We also got some cheese along the lines with it, too. Got the fat-free cheese if you want to go that route. As you can see, our chips and uh, chunky guacamole is rocking. This stuff is ridiculously good itself. Uh, one thing I do want to 
he put on it's a lot of the chicken i use a lot of this type of chicken right here and it's at heb but the flavoring is good 4.99 and i'm going to tell you right now this entire container is 360 calories and this sucker goes a long damn way so as you can see we're going to do a little flip over here on the tacos just a little bit let me turn that off get a brewing up on that side it doesn't take much like i said it's not like they they thicken up or they uh, crispy up or anything of that nature. So we're going to double these bad boys up. we got some uh, fajita meat, some chicken. Throw a little bit more. In fact, I'm going to do a little mixy-mixy on one of these. A little chicken and a little fajita. And we'll throw a little chicken and fajita on that one as well. Yeah, I can't go wrong. Now, calorie-wise, where do we stand? Uh, so let's just go with one taco, for instance, though. So. Uh, doing the math on these, actually we'll do a whole plate. Doing the math on these, we've got 90 calories in the uh, Yakima taco portion, the tortillas if you want to call it that. Chicken wise, we're less than one serving. So we were looking at about 90 calories for the chicken and it was 110 calories for the, the fajitas. So, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, right around 100 calories for the fajita meat itself. So with that said, we're probably looking at 300 calories and I always guess high. So I'd rather be on the high side than anything. So a plate, you're looking at 300 calories at the very most. Truthfully, if you want to get close to it when you start adding the cheese and all that stuff, that's where you probably hit the 300 calories. So great go-to, street taco style, still going low calorie, still going high protein, still got the chips. You're at 400 calories, 450 calories total with the street tacos, chips, guacamole, ready for your own Mexican night, 450 calories, probably right around 40 grams of protein. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. It was a quick go-to. Later on, we are going to brew up a low-calorie, high-protein apple pie. Can't wait for that one. Love you guys. Peace out. Going to have a meal of champions.